What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina and today we got a gear review on the Orca Torch D550. Now Orca Torch sent me this light to do a little bit of testing on so we're going to open it up, see what comes in the box and then of course we're going to take it out and do some testing and see just how good of a light the Orca Torch D550 really is. Alright guys, so let's take a closer look at the D550 and what all comes in the box with it. But before I do that, I want to make a quick note here that I like the fact that Orca Torch puts all the information about the light here on the side of the box. It goes on to say that it has a 970 lumen rating, that means it's just shy of a thousand lumens. It says it's got a max runtime of 5 hours, 45 minutes, so it's going to give me plenty of runtime before I actually have to change the battery or charge the battery. It says the beam distance is 253 meters, that's well over 800 feet. Um, and even in the springs or maybe in the ocean where you got two to 300 foot visibility, this light's really going to be able to reach out. Maybe if you're back in a cavern or a cave system, this light's really going to reach out and show you what's out in front of you. It says that it's water resistance down to 150 meters, that's around that 500 foot mark. So that's definitely going to be great for the recreational diver, even up to the technical diver. It says it's impact resistance uh, up from one meter, so you can drop it from a meter or less, and it's going to uh, not damage the light as well. And it even says what the peak beam intensity is here. It says it takes a Cree XM L2U4 LED head. It's powered by one 18650 battery. It says it's got a magnetic controlled tail switch two brightness modes including a strobe feature as well and of course it just restates what the depth rating of the light is open it up let's take a quick look at what all comes in the box we're going to have a hands-free glove which we'll take a quick look at here shortly we've got two rechargeable 18650 batteries you are of course going to have your battery charger as well looks like we have a lanyard so if you don't want to use the glove maybe you can use the lanyard just to go around your wrist we're going to have some spare o-rings for the head of the light and of course we have the light itself and then we have the paperwork to go with it which is all the information that you need to know about the light plus it even comes with a warranty card so you can simply fill out the warranty card send it in that way you shouldn't have any issues if you ever needed to use the warranty on it Taking a closer look at some of these components, the first one that we're going to look at is the glove system. Now, I'm a huge fan of the glove system simply because they're so ambidextrous. If I want to wear it on my left hand or if I want to wear it on my right, right hand, all you've got to do is just switch the glove around and you can very easily wear it on left or right. It does come with a Velcro strap to, to make it easy to adjust. So if you've got thick dry gloves or maybe thin reef gloves, you can really adjust this light down. Or maybe if you've got bigger hands or smaller hands, you can adjust it down. Now, it does have a neat Supreme sleeve here on the top to actually hold the light and I've got to be honest with you I'm not a huge fan of these neoprene sleeves I actually prefer the gloves that have the velcro sleeve up top so it's pretty much the same uh, type of system but when your light goes in you can actually tighten up the velcro to make it a little bit more secure and it's even got a rubber grip inside to help hold the light so with that being said I'm not a huge fan of this neoprene sleeve although it is very easy to get the light in and out of so if you're changing out the battery or something you don't have to undo anything simply just pull the light out but other than the uh, neoprene sleeve, I am a huge fan of the glove systems. Taking a close look at the light, you'll notice it's a very small compact light system, so it's gonna work good as a primary light, or it's gonna work great as a backup light as well. Here on the back, you are gonna have a little lanyard hole, so if you wanna mount the lanyard that comes with it, or you can actually use that lanyard hole when the light's in the glove system, you can actually use a little bit of cave line or maybe even a zip tie in itself to simply tie off to this little tab that comes on and that will actually prevent that light from coming out of that neoprene sleeve. So it's very versatile there. If you're going to be using this as a backup light, you can actually tie on a bolt snap to that little lanyard hole and that way you can clip off to a D-ring, something like that. Open it and light up. Let's we'll see just how many batteries this light takes. Looks like one 18650 battery. Now, I've actually already put this battery in, but it does come with two. And what's really cool about that is, is you can always have one charge battery going. So if you've used your light and your battery's dead, as you put it on to go charge, you will have a spare battery so that you don't have to abort your dive or whatnot. So putting that back in, you'll notice that the head is sealed with three O-rings, which you do get three spare O-rings as well. So if you ever wear one of those out, um, you can always replace them. Now these are static O-rings simply because we're not going to be using the head to turn the light on and off because it does have that magnetic tail switch in the back and you don't have to really worry about tearing up 
uh, them O-rings when you turn the light on and off. Looking at the tail switch, now this is a magnetic tail switch. A lot of times with switches, when you go to operate them, when you push in on, you're actually breaking that seal on the end internal part of the mechanism and that can actually cause the housing itself to flood. With it being a magnetic switch, you don't actually have that problem. So you simply press on the button and of course you're going to have the high beam. This is where you've got that 970 looms and out to 253 meter distance as well. If I press and hold on the button, it's going to go into a strobe mode. Now, whether it's in the high beam or the low beam, that's what's going to determine how bright the strobe is as well. Now, the strobe comes in very handy. Maybe you're trying to get your buddy's attention or you're trying to mark an entry point or an exit point of a dive site. That strobe's really going to come in handy as well. I can simply press it again. It goes back into the high beam mode and I can press it one more time. It'll go to the low beam mode. Now, even in the low beam mode, I can press and hold and it'll go into the strobe feature as well. It's just not going to be as bright as what that high beam was. Press it one more time, goes back to the steady mode, and then one final time to turn the light off. And of course you can scroll through the modes at will. It's very simple, especially with the glove system to be, to be hands-free. You simply slide it up in the glove, and then that's going to free up your hands to do whatever you need to do. Maybe you're tying rope or something underwater, you can just simply reach over, turn the light on, still have hands-free operation, and it's a very versatile system. Now, if you're not a fan of the glove system, of course, you can tie on the lanyard itself and then simply go around your wrist or clip off to a D-ring or something like that. So it's gonna be versatile whether you use it as primary or your backup light. Moving on, of course, you're gonna get your two rechargeable batteries and a battery charger as well. All in all, I'm gonna give this light a four out of five stars. And the reason I didn't give it five is simply, I'm not a big fan of the neoprene sleeve. I actually like the Velcro sleeves a little bit better. I think they're a little bit more secure. But other than that, I really did enjoy this light. I would definitely recommend it, whether you're a tech diver and you wanna use it as a backup light or you're a recreational diver and you're gonna use it as a primary or backup, I definitely recommend it. It's a small little compact unit. It'll fit in your pockets. You can clip off to a D-ring. It's not gonna create an entanglement hazard. Or of course, you can use it in that hands-free mode by using the glove. It's a great light. Definitely check it out. Check out your local dive shop if they carry Orca Torch as well. Or check out the link down in the description below if you wanna pick up one for yourself. But guys, if you got any questions on this model, please put it down in the comment section below. If you use lights like this, or if you use a glove system like this, let me know down in the comment section below whether you like the neoprene sleeve or whether you like the Velcro sleeve itself. But guys, once again, if you got any questions, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, simply smash that like button for us. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.